fans are cool. One thing I've noticed with fans recently is that there's a new type of fan that's becoming quite popular. It's the tower fan like this one. So instead of having a propeller like blade that you see with a typical standing fan, a tower fan has a cylindrical blade. The question I have though is, are these tower fans any better than your typical standing fan? So the company Drio actually sent me this tower fan to help me find out. In this video, I am going to be going over these components comparisons to find out which type of fan is best. One claim that tower fans often make is that they are more quiet, but is this true? So to find out, I had to match up the wind speed exactly from my tower fan and my standing fan so I could measure the sound at the same speed. So to do this, I put a string on both fans, I measured out at about three feet, and then I got a wind meter. So at three feet out, the stand-up fan had about 7.5 miles per hour, and I measured the sound at about 46 decibels. So then when I did the tower fan, I was getting basically the same speed. So this test would show that the noise level is basically the same at the same wind speed. But as I later found out, this test is kind of a bit deceptive. Later on, I did the test again, but I tested the speed right up against the fan. And when I did this, the tower fan was getting about 60 miles per hour, whereas the standing fan was getting nine miles per hour. So this would indicate that the tower fan is indeed a bit more quiet, at least closer up to the fan. One other thing to mention is that this tower fan in particular, it has more variable speeds. So if I, for example, turn the speed all the way down to one, I can feel the wind. It's not very strong but it is super quiet. That's one thing I can't do with this standing fan because it only has three speeds. In general though, the more power you're putting out with the fan, the louder it's going to be, that's kind of obvious, but it does seem that the tower fans do have a slight advantage as far as being quiet. While doing the previous test to match up wind speed, I had to turn the tower fan to its highest speed to match the noise level on the standing fan at its lowest speed. But as my previous test showed, the wind power was different depending on how close I measured it. So it would seem that the standing fan spreads the wind out a bit more whereas the tower fan is a bit more concentrated overall though at least with these two fans I compared it seems that the standing fan has a higher top wind speed overall speaking of power I also wanted to test the power consumption so again, I compared the tower fan at its high speed with the standing fan at its lowest speed because that kind of matches up wind levels and wind speed roughly. And when I did this, the standing fan was using 35 watts of power, whereas the tower fan was only using 16 watts of power. So it's nearly half the power for about the same amount of wind speed. I was actually pretty impressed with this. Realistically, both fans are a drop in the bucket compared to having an AC unit on, so it doesn't really matter for most people. But if you run a fan off-grid or in an RV, this would definitely be something you would want to consider. Safety is something you want to consider if you have kids or pets in the home. So the first test I did is I had my sons see if they could touch the blades. In the stand-up fan, they had no difficulty. I can touch it. The tower fan, it was a little bit more difficult, but some of them could kind of do it. But overall, as far as like hitting the blade accidentally or getting something in there, the tower fan does seem to be more safe. I did another test to see how easily they tip, and they both seem to tip at about the same angle, but the standing fan is definitely more top heavy, and it would be more dangerous if it was like a direct hit on a child or a pet. The tower fan is pretty light, and I wouldn't be nearly as concerned with that tipping over as I would a standing fan. So overall, I don't really have any scientific data per se, but I would say the tower fan definitely seems to be a bit more safe in that regard. As far as aesthetics go, this is obviously just a preference thing, but me personally, I like the look of tower fans. I think they look a little bit more modern. They also fit better in a corner of the house and it looks more normal or natural against the wall. This is a kind of fan that you could set up and just leave there. Whereas a standing fan, it always kind of looks awkward. And the last thing I want to talk about is features. Tower fans tend to have more features like variable speeds or a sleep mode or variable oscillation angles. 
With most standing fans, features are not nearly as common, but some of the standing fans do have all the same features of tower fan. For example, my standing fan has built-in Wi-Fi, so I can program it or turn it off remotely. So as far as features go, you just kind of have to look and decide what you want in a fan. So what fan is best overall? Like everything else, it really depends on what you want it for. If we talk about the advantages of the tower fan, these are all generalizations, but usually they are a bit more quiet, they usually have more features, and I think it looks better in the corner of the house or in a permanent location in the home. I would recommend this type of fan for if you want like personal use. So what I like to do with this fan is I have it right up next to me because it's a concentrated wind that comes out and I put it on one of the lowest speeds so it's super quiet but I can feel the wind and it cools me off. I also like that the wind is kind of a vertical wind so it's uniform on my body. The advantages of the standing fan, and again, these are generalizations, for the most part, I think they have higher top speeds, so they have more power. The wind also tends to spread out a bit more, and you can direct the wind a little bit better with these stand-up fans. So I would recommend a fan like this if you're trying to cool off multiple people or larger rooms. You can keep it at a distance, and it just kind of spreads the wind out a bit more. I also think this is good for drying things off, like if you have an area in the carpet that needs to be dry you can point it at that. I hope this video helped you to decide which type of fan is better for you. Thanks for watching. I do have links posted below for this Drio fan. I've really loved having this fan and I would highly recommend it if you are looking into getting a tower fan.